Today I'm in far north Saskatchewan, driving on a long, unpaved road, the only road heading north of the town of Larange. I'm heading for a small community called Mississippi. That's Crow for Great Water, referring to the mighty Churchill River that flows by the front porch of the town. That's also where I found Thompson Camps, which just happens to be the largest outfitter in all of Saskatchewan. Thompson Camps is different than any fishing lodge I've ever been to. Most have a one-size-fits-all program, but at Thompson Camps you can choose from a wide variety of fishing adventures. Or if they don't have an option that works for you, you can also customize your own trip to match your personal interests. If you've never been on a float plane, I think you've missed something in life. And if you make a trip to Thompson Camps, you might get that experience because Thompson Camps is all about float planes. Most uh, fishing lodges aren't big enough to own their own float planes, but Thompson Camps owns two, a classic Beaver and a Cessna 185. Thompson Camps is owned by Adventure Destinations and managed by Ron Stryker. It's located on the shore of massive Otter Lake which has the Churchill River flowing through it. Actually, if you aren't interested in too much adventure, you can stay right at Thompson Camps, home base there on Otter Lake. And Otter Lake still has great fishing. You can bring your own boat or you can rent a boat. And if you'd like some help to get started, you can hire a guide for a day or two. Or better yet, you can choose from a big selection of fly-out fishing adventures. That's what we wanted to do, but unfortunately, we only had time for two short trips. The rest will have to wait for another time. And based on our short stay at Thompson Camps, there is definitely going to be another time. On our first trip, Ron, who is also a pilot, incidentally, flew us into Dead Lake to see Thompson Camp's new high-tech solar-powered outpost, which is uh, likely to become the model for wilderness outposts all across Canada. And we were also there to catch a few walleyes, of course, like this nice one. And a few pike, too. At lunch, we enjoyed a traditional shore lunch on the beach right in front of the high-tech outpost cabin. The following day, Ron flew us into Upper Foster Lake for an overnighter at Thompson Camp's outpost there and some truly fantastic fishing. That afternoon, we caught our fill of big lake trout like this one. And later the next day, we caught more trophy pike than I've ever seen in one day in one place. Sadly, we only had two days at Upper Foster Lake. We could have easily spent a week there and exploring the lake and finding new fishing spots. Which is exactly what most people do, incidentally after making the big effort and spending the money to take a trip to a wilderness outpost like this most people stay a week or more which is exactly what we'll do next time Dead Lake and Upper Foster Lake are only two of six outpost options offered by Thompson Camps plus you can choose from a long list of day trips to many other wilderness lakes some are totally wild with no cabins or no shoreline structures of any kind and see only a handful of anglers each year. So if you're thinking about a Saskatchewan fishing adventure but can't quite decide what you want, uh, get in touch with Thompson Camps. It seems like they have something for everybody and for everybody's budget.